it's just like it's wild that you're in this. You're you've got you're shoes with another cheating. girl's name. I mean, you're kind of, you're having two. You have two girlfriends. Do you feel bad or guilty? Of course, I have a girl right here. Of course, it makes me feel guilty. We just read your email. We've got a lot of questions. First of all, how did you meet Elijah? Well, we talked a lot on MySpace and messaged back and forth. He was just always giving me good advice and really like there for me when I didn't know anybody else. Our relationship just kind of grew really fast and like I confided in him and told him all my secrets. And then one day just he went offline. One day I signed onto MySpace to like message him and his profile was just completely gone. Wow. It just says the user does not exist. At first, I was really sad, and like I kind of thought, like maybe I did something wrong. But two years after Elijah disappears on MySpace, all of a sudden he pops up on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. He messaged me saying, "I used to talk to a girl named Solana, and like I'm hoping it's you. And if it's you, like reply to me. I didn't want to let someone back into my life that was just gonna walk out." And I told him to text me, but he didn't have a phone. What do you mean he didn't have a phone? He still doesn't. Do you really believe that? Uh, not really. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, everybody has a phone. He has a texting app on oh, an iPod. You are still holding on to this. Yeah, there's a big question lingering from my past. But you've also started dating this Danny guy. I really like Danny, and he's good to me, which is really awesome. He's a great guy. Does he know that you reached out yeah. to us? Yeah, I told him, and honestly, he really wants me to be happy, so he's been supportive which is really awesome, because most guys would be like, screw you, I'm out of here. Inviting us to come into your life and connect you with Elijah is only gonna cause waves. Are you ready for that? I just need to solve this thing, because it's been lingering, and it's been basically holding me back from committing fully to Danny, and that's not fair to him. I don't want to wonder what if about this person for the rest of my life. You were pursuing Elijah there for a while, and he was pursuing you. Were you thinking it yeah. was leading to definitely. kind of a, a reboot sort yeah, of definitely. relationship 2.0? Definitely our relationship was like evolving. A couple months later, you met Danny. <sighs> yeah, that was great timing. He's willing to let you discover who Elijah is. He just wants me to be happy. But you think Elijah kind of could always be coming in and out of your life. I'd prefer if you just stay in my life because it's just confusing and messes up my other relationships. I just want something stable because my whole life has been up and down and rocky and all over the place. I just want like a safe place. And I don't know if that person can be Elijah or not. You're sort of holding on to an idea that this guy that you kind of yeah. fell in love with when you were 13 could be the one for you. Yeah, it's like torn between the two. <laughs> oh my God. Dang, you look gorgeous. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm awesome. <laughs> you didn't come up on the Psych. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. This is insane. How's it feel to be here, actually? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting the beer, were you? We were just... expecting you. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm nervous now. <laughs> You're real. Yeah. I'm real. They're real. Is the hair real? Yeah, my hair's real. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I think we're all in a little bit of shock. <laughs> that was Joshua? Yeah. My older brother, he was turning to my hair. I gotta make the mop look good. I'm Neve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. Elijah, I'm Max. Max, How's it yeah. going? Nice to meet you. Your name is Elijah. <laughs> yep. You the guys... whole time, it's been you talking. I'm the one, you know? and this is your family's house. Yep. And how old are you? I'm 20. Why couldn't you audio chat or, or video chat? I have Skype with people for a while, but then that computer broke, so I don't really have a webcam for that anymore. Well, we just saw the YouTube videos. I didn't use like a webcam or anything for that. It was, I bought like a really nice camera after I got a job, you know? But you still have your video camera, right? I mean, No, I sold that to help pay for rent. Sucks, but. And what about not having a phone? Not having a phone? Yeah, I just use my iPod right now, but otherwise I don't have money. Really? really. Don't mean to that. I don't, yeah, it's like generation two. This is what you have? Yeah, a texting app, yeah, text plus. Wow, and there is no camera. No. So far everything we thought you were, you are. I don't know, I'm just like kind of overwhelmed right now. <laughs> From your point of view, 
what happened. It just started when I got on MySpace and you know, it was kind of like a suggested person, even knowing she had my style. So it was like, you're cute, you know, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Over time, she was someone that made me feel, you know, being myself, you would just, you know, like, and it's nice to feel that way. Yeah. Hey! Wow, look at the new hairdo. It's purple, it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you hold up your hand again? Yeah. yeah. What is that? It's what? a wedding ring. What? I try to get it close. What? You got married? Yes, me and Danny went to the courthouse and got married. Oh my god. He put a ring on it? Is he there? What's up, guys? Hey. Yo! Danny, what did you think of her tattoo when she came home? It's good artwork. I like it. Now they have like a little tight bond. Does that bother you? No. Well, you guys seem well, pretty happy. It's been good. We've had a lot of fun. Congrats. Yeah. And just enjoy the honeymoon. We are enjoying it, definitely. Hey, see you later, Solana. Hi. 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 Hi, Candace. How's it going? Good. We just read your email. Yeah. And you're in a very interesting situation. It's a little complicated. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely complicated. You're married right now. Yes. And what's his name? Jamie. We met in the Army training and the military. And you have a four-year-old daughter. Yes, my daughter's name's Addison. Cute name. We call her Addie. So kind of explain to us things with your husband are maybe a little estranged at the moment. Uh, Jamie is a good person. It's the communication that we have issues with. He's just hard to talk to. He's been overseas or in the military and he's very shut down about anything emotional. You know, my childhood was pretty rough. Quite a few traumatic experiences that I've been through. So I need that emotional outlet. But trying to communicate with my husband is like trying to talk to a wall. Since you guys have been married, have you been together for most of that time or? Yes, we've never broken up. There's never been any kind of infidelity on either side. This is the first thing that I'm gonna have to confess that is gonna kill him. That's the biggest part I'm nervous about, is trying to tell him about it. Okay, so walk us through meeting Titus. I met him on a local shopping app. What were you trying to sell? A purse. A purse. Yes. Pretty much my job is buying and reselling fashion items. And a guy was looking at the purse item for sale. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Did like it that. sell? Since that, yes, but not to him. He wasn't interested in buying it at all. He was just interested in hitting me up, I guess. So we've been talking for a few months. Small chit chat led into telling him all my life secrets. Wow. There was somebody giving me attention and listening to what I had to say for once. It just really felt amazing. Have you ever imagined what it might be like if you did eventually meet him? I can't lie, I thought about it. We've never sexted or I've never sent him dirty pictures or anything like that. But I did kind of think, you know, the grass might be greener on the other side. You know that doing this is going to create a situation in which you have to confess something to your husband. I guess my big question is, why make a mountain out of this molehill? Well, Titus is giving me the emotional support they need. But he knows more about me than I know about him. I want to know who I've told all of my secrets to. Well, I mean, look, if giving you the opportunity to meet Titus so that you can not wonder, well, who is this person is the best thing for you and your family, then, like, that's what we need to do. So one day, you're on the internet, and what happens? I get a message from Titus. He's just giving me a compliment on my profile picture. And from there, we started small talking, and it felt really easy to talk to him. It felt like the outlet that I've been longing for just appeared in my phone. And it progressed into really emotional conversations all about me, and it felt good. You did say that you guys have tried to meet up, right? Yes, I was trying to get him to meet me. I just wanted to 
tell him thank you and clear the air so that I could tell my husband. But he refused. He didn't want to meet me. And it's hard to tell my husband when I don't even know who I'm telling him about. I mean, we haven't done right. any research yet, but we found that when someone lives close to you right. and won't either meet you or get on the phone with you, it's generally because their voice will give them away. Either there's someone you know already or they're someone of the opposite sex. If he's not who he says he is, I would like to know who I'm talking to, who I've told everything about myself to. I want to know who that is. What's up? Not too much, man. How about yourself? Neve. Jamie. Jamie. Candace's husband. All right. Um, wow. Yeah. Well, I still am not totally clear. Are you Titus? I am Titus, okay, so, yes. you, so the whole time Candace has been talking to Titus, she's been talking to you? Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Basically, I could tell there was something going on the past few months, even right before I even started as Titus. I felt like maybe it was me that she didn't want anymore. You know, maybe that was the issue. For me, you know, to not be able to pinpoint her problem really got to me. Stupidly, I created Titus just to see if she would go and talk to someone else and if it was, you know, me that she didn't want anymore. Right? We hear stories like this all the time where people in relationships create fake profiles to see if they can get their partner to cheat on them. You know, there's some issues surrounding that that, like, I'm sure you've been struggling with. I was completely wrong and stupid that I would even have tried to set her up in that situation. A couple days into it, I said, you know, send me a provocative picture or whatever. No, I'm happily married. Uh, only my husband gets that. I was like, see, I am an idiot. I was going to let it go with that. Sure. Everything would be done. A couple days later, I come home. She was really upset and crying in the bedroom. You know, I'm like, what's going on, babe? Yeah. She hands me her phone. She's like, well, that, that's what's wrong. What was she showing you? It was a picture of her and mom. I left. Uh, I still had to take my daughter to school and some other stuff. Boom. I get a message for Titus. I'm thinking, this is confusing. You know, I was planning on completely just quitting with Titus. Well, then she opens right. up to Titus, and she explains why she's upset. Here they come. <sighs> That's my husband. Wow. That's Jamie. You OK? I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to say. I don't. I just want to know why. I just thought I knew there was something going on, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I did it to see if all the issues we were having was you just didn't want to be with me. I thought you, it was me you didn't you want. You thought that I would start talking to this guy as more than a friend? Why would you think I would do that? We've been married for seven years. I've never done that to you. Why would I do that now? <clears throat> I just didn't know what was wrong, and I could feel there was something wrong. What would you have done if I did, if I fed into that? I don't know. My thought process was panic. I'm losing you. I get insecure. You know, I get worried, but I don't pretend to be somebody else and try to trick you. I was stupid in the beginning. I didn't mean to hurt you or do any of that through it. I felt like I betrayed you by even doing that. The only reason this kept going was because I felt like that was what you needed. You kept telling Titus everything that was wrong, stuff that I didn't even know about. Like with your mom, I didn't understand how you felt towards your mom. And some things you never told me, but you told Titus. So the more I kept being Titus, the more I felt like I was helping you, learning how and what you were looking for. It'd be nice if we could have those kind of conversations in real life. I know, and that's what I realized, that I was never able to do that, and never took the time to understand why you felt those ways. I understand now. This is like the most you've ever said to me. It feels good to know that 
that connection was really you. And in a sense, it's kind of a relief. Now I don't have to tell you about Titus because the most nervous thing I was freaking out about was telling you. I'm a little upset that you started it the way you did, but if you could be like supportive like you are through messages, I wouldn't need to seek out the closest thing that I can talk to. I don't want to talk to Titus. I want to talk to you. On I am I am BU. I am BU. What is that? It is a virtual world where you have an avatar and it's like an actual person. Okay. And you can go into different chat rooms and talk to people. Why am I here? I went into a lesbian bar chat room and we just started talking. It was like, I really like your personality. I want to get to know you more. So she gave me her number and we started texting. And then you started talking on the phone? Yeah. So you okay. know yeah. her voice. Yeah. So when did it go from maybe like a friendship into something a little more romantique? I actually told her I loved her first. I invested my feelings into this person a lot. She was always, you know, there for me. She was always somebody that I could talk to. She gave me the attention that I wanted. But after New Year's, we were supposed to make plans to meet. She canceled on me and said that she had to study for school, that she was too busy for me. And what happens when you ask her to FaceTime or video chat? When I ask her to video chat, she tells me that her anxiety is really bad, that she can't go on the camera, and she doesn't have a camera on her phone. Well, that's uh, like a lot of excuses. You know those moves. Those are, those are the yeah. cl classic catfish moves. Yeah, I know. I know their moves, but... <laughs> I guess it just... You gotta have faith. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have, have faith. faith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to tell you one more thing. Sure. I have a girlfriend. She lives with me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have a, an open relationship? No, we no. don't. Do they know about each other? Uh, only Sammy knows about faith. How long have you and Sammy been together? Almost two years. How does she feel about it? Uh, she's really upset with me. She's really angry. Well, see, when I met Faith, me and Sammy were going through some stuff when I went on IMV. When did you tell her? Um, I told her a few days ago. Oh, so she's oh. real, real fresh. Wow. So you told her you're writing to the show, AKA, I've got this girl I'm talking to on the internet. Yeah. So yeah. Faith has been a big secret for you for the past seven months. Yeah, and I feel like I'm being torn between two people. Like, we don't choose who we have feelings for, you know, or when they come along. It's just about taking responsibility for what happens when they do. Right. Well, so when you first started talking to Faith, you said you guys were going through a rough patch. Right. What was going on? Well, I started with a girl that was texting my phone. She was calling me, babe. I was not interested. She was... Another online friend. Uh, yeah. And then started yes. sort of pursuing you. Yeah. And you found out or... Yeah, I found out. But that obviously created some issues, some right. trust. Right. Issues, I guess? Yeah. Yes. It was difficult, actually. Very difficult. But I forgave her. And I gave her that chance because she is somebody I love. And she's somebody I want to be with. And that's why it's so difficult right now is because I did forgive her. And now she's just doing it all over again. Well, so wait a second. As you're going through that rough patch, you start a similar friendship with Faith. It wasn't my intention to catch feelings for her. I mean, as, you know, a kid, I wasn't very, you know, attractive. I wasn't very open with myself. I right. wasn't happy. So getting the attention from other people, like, saying, hey, you're beautiful, you're pretty, like, you know, it means right. a lot to me, and it gives me confidence. Yeah, but that's ever. fine. You People could still say, hey, you're beautiful, and you could say, thank you. Yeah. But if they then say, like, what's your number, or we should meet up, you should be like, I'm flattered, but... Right. And if Sammy trusts that you'll do that. Can I actually just step like away, please? I know, you know, what I did, it wasn't a good thing to do. I don't want to say that I regret meeting Faith. She was there when I needed somebody. I feel like for doing that, you know? 
you know, we make mistakes. Like, that's human, you know? So I was just talking with Sammy, and she just has some stuff she wants to talk about. I know why Faith didn't come around. Faith has been standing in front of you this whole time. I'm Faith. Are you kidding me? No. Why? I thought you were going to cheat on me. So I noticed that you were using IMVU. And I got on there, and I started talking to you. And as time went by, I couldn't let it go. I really don't know how to feel about this at all. I feel like I just got like kicked in my ribs. Is this you ending things? Oh, I don't want to end things. You don't want to end things? No. OK. I want a future with her and trying to see if she was cheating on me was to see whether or not I have a future or not. But living two lives, I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't watch her go through this anymore. <laughs> Maybe you should just kind of fill us in on all the details. Currently in a relationship, and I'm currently dating somebody online, you know? And how long have you been with your girlfriend? Like three years. But you, you said things aren't going so well. Yeah, they're really bumpy right now. I know she know that it's over with, really. But, you know, we got kids and stuff, and it's really hard to get out of a situation like that and then just to hop in another one like this. That's why I, I, need, I need you guys, man. I really do. Tell us about Jess. Tell us about wh what you like about her. She just sparks up my day. Like, everything falls in line when I talk to her. She really loved kids. And, you know, that's something that I love. I love my, my kids, too. Do you have any doubts about her being who she said she is? Uh, a little bit, because we never talked on the phone. We never Skyped before. I asked her, but she's always around her boyfriend. He's real controlling, like, really strict. What makes you think that Jess would even break up with her boyfriend? Because uh, she talks about it a lot. She says she's ready to cut that off, too, so. Hey, man. How's it going? All right. Have a seat, have a seat. All right, so when you did sit down last night with your girlfriend, tell me everything. Yeah. At first, she, you know, she, she like brushing it off a little bit. So okay. I'm like, damn, you know, I really, it's real important that I really need to talk to you. What we got going on right now is not what's up, you know? Like, as far as not talking, not even sleeping in the same room with each other. You know, we came to like some type of agreement. We're gonna work together as far as like help each other financially for the time being until we save up enough money, move on, so. What was your reaction when you told her that you were talking to, uh, to Jess online? She's like, I know you had to be doing something. I said, it ain't like I've been doing anything. Only thing I do was doing was talking online. That's all I've been doing was. And did you bring up the fact that we were here to help you meet this girl at all, or? I was like, well, you know, the guys up here from Catfish are up here. You know, they trying to help me out and find out who she really is. And she, good luck on that. But she wasn't, like, really angry about it. No. Nah, it was like she was comfortable with it. Serious. I'm glad you guys did come out and encourage me to, <laughs> for real, sit out and, you know, talk to her and stuff. So it's like a big, huge relief. I know this ain't the This. Hey man, you want to chill out a second? Shh. Excuse me. This, man. For real. Don't touch me. Better back Seriously. up. Man. Don't touch me. Better back what up. What kind of is this, man? Better chill out, man. What the kind of is this, man? We're talking. Him and I are talking. Yo, hey, you me? a oh, oh, He and I are talking. Excuse I'll me. I'll tell you one thing right Excuse now, buddy. Excuse me. One thing you're going to like, you're going to learn to love it too. 
the hell are you talking what, about, what's dude? What's going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Understand yeah, that? dude, you're... What kind of is this? You're being unreasonable. Straight up. What kind of is this? I'm just asking you to take it down a couple notches. Hey. You brought a lot of attitude. By the way, a lot of attitude last night. Thanks a lot. Really felt it, too. You and I got to know you better. I loved it. But I'll tell you what. You and I, we could do that later. Come here. We're going to talk. You what the we got? We ain't really... We ain't got... So we don't talk... You, baby? Are you Come kidding on. me? You could still be my chocolate kiss, too. You don't forget about that, baby. Come on. Come on. What the hey. is that? Can so, do you know this guy? No, I don't know this No, I don't know this Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. Man. What, man? What are you so angry about? Come on, the guy's got a family and he's talking to me? He thinks he's talking to some broad? But he did think he was talking to a girl. As exactly. Far as, right? So <laughs> you're, you're a good actress. Sure, I like that. Yeah, why not? That's Oh, hell no. What, what's your name, by the way? You, you skipped that. My name's Justin. I'm going to take a, take a stab at this. Sure. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. Well, I'm it's not so obvious. I mean, you, you, you are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy, so. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So, may, maybe. What it was to begin with was just a, it, it was a joke, this fake profile, just playing around with people, whatnot. I, I didn't think anything too much of it until, you know, honestly, I started seeing guys like him who are already in a relationship. So I was like, you know what, I kind of have this power to use it for something, use it for good. What I had with him was a little bit personal, and obviously you guys got a taste of that. What my message is to tell people, look, you can't just around on relationships that you're in. You felt like it was your job to sort of teach him a lesson. Is that, am I, am I, I just want to make sure I, I understand. Yes. We're, uh, we're, we're super interested in your story. Tell us more about it. Oh, yes, Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I don't even know where to start. She's a beautiful girl. We could build an island. You and I could swim beside where... You're in love with Jessica and have been for a few years. Mm -hmm. But for the last six months, you've had a girlfriend. <laughs> Raffinate. If the sun is too sad to leave us dark with regret. She's a great girlfriend. She's one of the other people who knows the things that's been going on in my life, and uh, she's held me down through it all. Honestly, if I were Raffinane, I don't know that I would want to keep dating you. She doesn't want to lose me, but she's willing to. If that means I'm going to be happy. Have you ever asked Jessica if she's lying to you? There's a couple of things that throw red flags at me. It's been like two times we've not tried to see each other. She had came to Atlanta, supposedly. But for some reason, when she was supposed to be here, she wouldn't pick up her phone. That's Exactly. I need to know if Jessica is real. We want to help. Please, please. We're going to get on a plane and, uh, and come meet you. Thank you. All right, take it easy. Good to meet you. See yeah. you soon. He's literally caught between two women. Well, right. Can be a good place and a bad place. That's true. Look at this. You can't have one without the other. <laughs> Guys, like Romeo. You can't have a right shoe without the left shoe. You can't have a girlfriend without a boyfriend. We both have to be together, and it makes a complete pair. Why don't you have those shoes with Jessica? Jessica wasn't here to create it with me. <laughs> yeah. I've been with her every day for her seven months. You moved in with Raph and A? Yeah. I mean, because it's just like, it's wild that you're in this, you're, you've got you're shoes kind with of another cheating. Girl's name. I mean, you're kind of, you're having two, you have two girlfriends. Do you feel bad or guilty? Of course. I have a girl right here. Of course it makes me feel guilty. And she's? She tell me she okay. I don't think she's okay. But I can't make her say nothing or open up to me unless she wants to, so. Huh. Uh, Kinda of hard situation to be in. I don't want to sit here having to choose between two. I need to know. Are you who we're looking for? Yes. I'm Neve. Dorian, you know. You probably want to meet him. Yes. Uh, so I'll, I'll introduce you. Hi. Hi, Dorian. How are you? I'm good. 
<laughs> so, what is your name? Alexis. It's not Jessica, okay. It's not Jessica. Um, what was real? My feelings for you, everything was real. Um, everything, just, I love you so much. I just didn't know how to, I just, I didn't know how to tell you. It's the reason this has hurt me more than anything is uh, on Facebook when you had got mad because the picture, the profile picture, that was the girl who I was dating. That's Raffinay. And uh, she's, she's a great girlfriend and she means a lot to me as well. And I totally just told her <laughs> that she was more important than she was. And I basically put that all to the side for this moment. I'm here and I mean, this is me and I want you to know my feelings for you are really deep and everything that I said was the honest 100% truth about how I feel about you. Why do you love me? Dorian, we've been talking for two years straight and you mean the world to me. I feel like I can talk to you about everything. I hear you, but it's like it's going in one ear and out the other right now. And uh, I don't know what else to say. You're in quite a predicament. Tell us about how this whole thing with Alyssa started. Basically, Alyssa and I, we um, started talking about 2013. It was good for about six months. And then she, you know, started getting controlling. I tried to meet up with her a lot of times. She just always had some excuse like, hey, I can't hang out this weekend or I don't have the gas money. Just bull Where did Alyssa say she lived? She said she lived in Indiana. It's like a three hour drive. Tell us about how it's ruined your relationship with Liz. After Alyssa and I broke up, I started talking to Liz and we hit it off and we were in a great relationship going on for about a year and a half. I'm madly in love with that girl. You were dating her for a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. Wow, and Alyssa just broke that up. Yeah, Alyssa started contacting me again, saying I still love you, I wanna be with you. And I was trying to give her the hint, I don't want a relationship. And she still harassed me and called me at random times of the night, two or three in the morning. As you could see that it was really hurting your relationship with Liz, like why not just get a new phone number? I did get a new number, but she got my number somehow. This girl is stalking you. Basically. The harassment continued and that was a big part in why Liz and I broke up because Liz felt like since Alyssa was still in the picture, she couldn't trust me anymore. Hopefully, we can figure out who Alyssa is, make it clear to her once and for all that you're not interested in a relationship. Right. There might be a happy ending here if we can get you back together with Liz. Awesome, yeah, I would love that. We'll see you tomorrow then. Later. Even yeah. if she's exactly the person she claims to be. Right. She's still being a bee <laughs> because this guy has told her, I will be friends with you, but I'm in a relationship. Please don't get in the way of that. And she ignored it. How you doing? Um, I'm, start, I'm just trying to stay positive. It's been a rough couple days for me. So this this really happened five days ago, or yeah, six well, days ago now. Yeah, it still hurts, I can't lie. After we broke up, I said, I'm still in love with you. She said, yeah, I'm still in love with you too. So Liz, your girlfriend of the last year and a half, last week says, I'm having a hard time. I don't feel like I can trust you. Yeah, she had an assumption that I was going behind her back and doing something I shouldn't be, which that wasn't the case. You know, I've been honest with her. So you've got to find out who Alyssa is and get Liz back. back. Yes. At what point do you break up? She started controlling the relationship. It got to the point where she would look through my Facebook and tell me like, hey, you need to block this person because they're making contact with you, which is very controlling. Whoa. She definitely put me through hell. So I just felt like it was a really good idea for us to uh, stop dating. At what point did Liz come around? After three or four months, I started talking to Elizabeth. We went through so much together. We were dating for about a year and a half, and we ultimately broke up because Liz was trying to contact me over and over. We lost a good thing. I feel like after we get some answers, I can tell Liz I don't want her to be a part of my life anymore so Liz and I can ultimately get back together. Hi. 
You must be Miranda. Yeah. Hi, I'm Neve. Well, if you wanna come out here, I'll introduce you to the guys. Hi, Miranda. Hi. Why did you, why'd you lead me on? Um, it's hard to talk to somebody as myself. <laughs> so behind a screen, it's easier to talk to people. I didn't do any of this to hurt you at all. And I'm pretty sure you are hurt. And I'm sorry. You caused Liz and I to break up because she felt like she couldn't trust me anymore. So not only did you hurt me, but you hurt her as well. I do feel bad. And that's why I agreed to meet you guys. Is anything you told me true? Yeah, everything I've told you is true, except for, of course, the pictures. Does that mean that your mother recently passed away from breast that cancer? Part, no, that part was not true. I said well, that. Well, that's a huge. So then everything's not true. Well, the, that part. Well, I said did that. Did you have cancer? No. You came out here and said everything I said was true, except for the pictures, and now I it turns out meant, most like, of what you entire... said wasn't true. Why, when he started dating Liz, did you try so hard to break into that relationship and, and, and cause havoc? You know he's in a relationship. You know he just wants to be a friend to you. That's the story that he told us. Um, well, you know, I might have lied about stuff and everything, but he's not innocent. He has flirted with me ever since he has been dating Liz, and I have text messages to prove that. The thing that he said in his text message, he shouldn't say that if he has a girlfriend. What did he say in his text message? He texted me saying something about playing with his I have that on text message, so you can't sit there and say that you didn't send it. Well, did you text it to I me? Mean, you might, I mean, yeah, like, you might as well tell the truth. You might as well tell the truth because they're going said, to see I it. I said that, but okay. I, I mean. While you were dating Liz, he's told me that he would break up with Liz for me. Obviously, mm. he didn't tell you guys that story. Nope, no. Whatever. But like I said, I agree. To it's not whatever. Sorry. If you have this girl that you love so much that you've been having a relationship with for a year and a half, like why are you right. sending pictures of your? I wasn't trying to get let's, any let's sexual not. conversation out of you. Come on, Vince. Don't pretend, and I won't either, that you're holier than no, any other I mean, guy ever. No, we're all no. the same here, OK? Yeah. We're, Wait, we all... time out. I don't do that <laughs> Vince called us in yes, under the- yes. under be realistic for a second. Under the pretense that he wanted to get this girl the hell right. out of his life because she's ruining his relationship right. with his girlfriend, who he loves so much, Come on, man, you're making me look like an ass. Look, you're look, kind of look, making no. yourself look pretty bad. I mean, Liz had good reason to have suspicions about why you weren't blocking Alyssa. I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship. You were. No, I was was something on the side that you wouldn't let go of for Liz, which is all she wanted. 